Hey guys, we're excited to have you here at the AccuSalt Systems facility. We've been getting a lot of requests from people to see demonstrations of the AccuSalt material application monitor. So we wanted to put this video together for you so you can see some of the stuff it does. So here we have the AccuSalt. This is the sensor module and this unit here will be used as the demonstration of a shaft rotating. So, if you start up your auger, you'll see here the shaft is rotating, sensor module is reading those rotations, and then we're displaying that information on the screen. And on this side, we're displaying the billing information, that's your total tons used. Here we're displaying a rate information. The rate information can be used for the drivers uh, so you can train your team on appropriate salt application rates and the billing part can obviously be sent into the office so they can bill the sites appropriately. When the driver is done with the site, you'll hear, see here it will show the start time. They hit site option, they'll hit finish with site. The data is saved to the unit here and then it's sent cellularly to a computer back in the office. You'll advance to the next site and you'll continue to repeat the process. Okay, a driver is just about ready to finish up the site. They've now completed their site. They're going to go through the steps that we've shown in saving the site and this time you'll also see that it's populating on this sheet. These devices are in no way connected via any wires. All of this communication is happening over a cellular network and going through our cloud and downloading into the sheet. You'll see here we're gonna do finish with site. It's saving and then you can see that it pops up on the list. We'll now walk through setting your system up after it's installed. So you've attached your sensor module, you've mounted your display in the cab, so you'll go ahead and power the system up. After a few brief moments, the home screen will display. You'll go into System Menu. Rotate the knob clockwise to system setup. Push to confirm any setting. We want to continue with the setup. We are going to set the time zone. Here in Michigan, we're in Eastern Time. We'll confirm the time zone. We're going to set our truck number. For this case, we'll set it as truck 13 we're going to confirm that truck number. It's going to write in the default sites and it's going to it just quickly wrote in all the sites for that particular truck. These next few screens are basically going to walk you through exactly what this process is doing. So this procedure is going to help us determine the pounds of material for one rotation of the shaft. Place the containers with a capacity of a minimum of five rotations at the dispenser output. Make sure you disable the spinners. The next page is going to show us the amount of rotations that have occurred and tell us when to stop. We need to have a minimum of five rotations. We'll start the shaft. You can go over five rotations if you'd like. We'll push to go to next. It's going to tell us to find the net weight of that material. Let's say in this case that those rotations gave us a net weight of material of 86.2 pounds. We're going to confirm. This system is now set up. 